Alrighty guys, breaking news. Didn't think this was going to be happening today, but it is it has been done. Derek McKenns leaves Aberdeen Football Club by mutual consent. So McKenns spent eight years at Aberdeen and now his time is done. He is gone. And Aberdeen have parted way with Derek McKenns after eight years in charge. This did come as a surprise to me, even though Aberdeen's form over the last couple of months, it has been, let's be honest, it's been shocking. They can barely score a goal. But I, I didn't think that I didn't think that the things were that bad that they were going to get rid of McKins. I thought they would work it through. I still believe Aberdeen are going to get third this season, even though they've been poor. And this this did come as a shock to me all of a sudden why they've got rid of him. But it is true, Aberdeen have confirmed that he is gone. And um, they will, I guess they'll be looking for a new manager now. Tony Dockery, his assistant, has also left the club with immediate effect. Aberdeen uh, chairman Dave Cormack said, and I quote, During his time in charge, Derek raised the bar and delivered a level of consistency not seen at the club for many years, qualifying for Europe each season and delivering a memorable Scottish League Cup win at Celtic Park in the season 2013-14 with 43,000 Dawn fans in attendance, 43,000, that's um, it's a lot of sheep. Clearly, results since the return of the year have been disappointing and frustrating for everyone. Derek and I refused where we were and agreed this was about the right time to step down. The club now has the opportunity to appoint a new manager ahead of the new season where a number of players are out of contract. We have to work, to, we have to do a build to, uh, we have to work. We have work to do to build a competitive squad. Sorry, guys. Fucking, um, I, I, I was dying. Right, I made fids in about a week, so you know what? My, my mouth's sore and I can't really read. So, but here we're making the best of a bad situation. Derek and Tony leave with our thanks and gratitude for what they have achieved during their tenure. We wish them well for the future. Uh, my mo. De- commenting on the announcement, McCormick added the board will start the search for a new management team immediately. And there's a clear timetable in place. In the meantime, we believe we have a robust interim solution for the rest of the season and the Scottish Cup, uh, Cup which is still Scottish Cup, which is still all to play for. Commenting on the announcement, Derek McKinn said this season has been unprecedented due to a number of factors, and I am frustrated as anyone that results haven't been of high standards, which we have set. My motivation to deliver success has never wavered, and during my eight-year tenure, my staff and I have worked hard to elevate expectations and set a minimum standard which should be demanded at a club like Aberdeen Football Club. Uh, I would like to thank all players who have featured in my teams over the years, my current staff and players for their efforts, and all the staff behind the scenes for their hard work and ende- endeavour. To the supporters for their continuous backing, and of course the board for their support during my time at the club, and that is all I believe McKins has said, and that is all Aberdeen have said. So they can see the league table there, Aberdeen, with uh, six games to go, find themselves three points off Hibs, Hibs with a game in hand. So maybe I was talking pish when I say that oh, I think Aberdeen will get second regardless, but um, I, I still think they might. I still think they might. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the fact that that is Derek McKins gone. So I mean, the Cormac did say, though, that during his eight years he has been successful. And I have seen a lot of Aberdeen fans complain and moan and say that McKins has to go, he needs to go, he needs to go. But, I mean, you've got to remember, before McKins was there, Aberdeen, they weren't this amazing team that were, you know, finishing fourth every season and uh, right on the, the heels of the old firm. That was far from the case. I mean, the Aberdeen, I remember, were always yo-yoing. I mean, one season, they maybe do okay. And finishing the top six, I think like they would have the odd third played for a uh, third place finish, but then, I mean, the, the season, the next season, they could they could well finish like maybe you know tenth, ninth, and be in a relegation scrap. So consistency has never really been Aberdeen's thing, and I mean, I, I would have to say Derek McKins is the best Aberdeen manager hands down since Alex Ferguson. I mean, I would totally agree with that. I don't think anyone comes close. I, I would have to say. If he's looking back, he, he is probably a wee bit disappointed at the fact that he, he didn't win more. I mean, he only has one Scottish League Cup to his name. And I guess that's a, that's a bit disappointing, especially considering Rangers were doing a rebuild during this time. Um, the Ronnie Dial Celtic weren't that great. I mean, if you look back at it, could Aberdeen have challenged for the league one year? Well, one year they only finished nine points off Celtic. I think it was actually, was it Rogers' first year on charge? It might have been Rogers' first year on charge. 
Aberdeen only finished nine points off Celtic, and then there was one year when the uh, during the Ro- Ronnie Dyla era, they didn't they didn't finish that far behind them either. And I'm pretty sure if Aberdeen had won the games against Celtic, they would end up winning the league. So I guess that's something that you know McKins could look back on and say, well, you know what, we, we did underperform a wee bit there. Maybe we didn't take the opportunities that we had. Uh, since Rangers got back in the, the first two seasons, Rangers were back. Aberdeen still finished second, so it's not as if you know they were only best of the rest. They did beat Rangers the first two seasons. Rangers were back in there. Now, I know people are going to say, "Oh, Rangers were rebuilding," but I mean, both both seasons, Rangers were back in the league. They were favourites to finish second, uh, and Aberdeen still managed to you know beat them to it, beat them to that second place. What I would say is the last two seasons, Aberdeen have went from. You know, they went from finishing second and beating Rangers to not even finishing third. The last two seasons, they finished fourth in the league, which I guess by by their standards is a bit disappointing to the standards that they've set. And I mean, I, I can't understand why maybe they've let Derek McKinn's go, but I, I do think it's a bit hasty. I, I would have personally kept them. I, I don't see, I, I mean, during this whole COVID thing, I don't see the harm in keeping them and giving them another year, giving them to next season and, and seeing if we can change things around. Injuries have been pretty poor. They are doing, they are enduring a rebuild. And you think about it, I mean, McKenna's went, Cosgrove's went. They do have players coming out of contract. I mean, maybe they could have gave McKenna's another year or two to see what he can do, try and turn it around. Or maybe they figure, you know, with a whole, with a big squad change coming up, you know, with some of their key players leaving, maybe it's time to get a new manager in and he can change around the squad. I don't know, guys, but I mean, I, I think you need to be careful what you wish for here. A lot of Aberdeen fans, in my opinion, are going to be happy with this news and they're, they're going to think that when McKinn's leaving that oh, Aberdeen's going to get someone in and Aberdeen are going to be, you know, back into third place and they're going to be challenging Celtic and Rangers at the top of the table. And I don't think any. let's be real, I don't think anyone's going to realistically challenge Celtic and Rangers. I mean, it's going to take almost a fluke season for someone outside the old firm with with the the difference in money. It's phenomenal. It's going to take. It's either going to take the old firm, both old firm teams, to have a, a really bad season like Celtic are this year, or for one of the teams outside the old firm to have an amazing season for anyone to get close to them. So I mean, I, I don't see Aberdeen getting a new manager in and challenging the old firm. I, I don't see that at all. I mean, I don't even know if Aberdeen will be the, the, the third best team next season. I mean, Hearts are going to be back in the league. Hibs are, I think Hibs are another team that, I think they've got a decent squad, but I don't think Jack Ross is the man to take them forward. But I am surprised that Derek McKins has, um, has been let go here by Aberdeen. So, right, there you go, guys. What, what's your thoughts on this? I am surprised. I, know, I get it. The form this season has been terrible. Lately, they can barely score a goal. It's like almost every time you look at the Aberdeen results, it's nil, 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 nil. I mean, it would be it would be a pain in the arse. It would absolutely be shite if you were going to watch this. But I guess the only good thing is because of COVID, nobody's really been watching it. Unless you're daft enough to pay twenty pounds for Aberdeen TV, then you know that's really your you deserve all you get if you're if you're stupid enough to you know waste your money on that. But Derek McKinn's guys that leaves Aberdeen, I'm surprised. I would have kept him a bit longer. I think he's the best manager they've had since Sir Alex. Um, countless, a bunch of second place finishes. You know, been in Europe every year, albeit they haven't really done anything in Europe. Yeah, let's not forget though, they, they drew over 180 minutes. They drew with Burnley, and that was a Burnley team that had finished seventh in the Premier League, the so called so called best league in the world. So, I mean, how bad were Aberdeen really? They held Burnley to draws over two draws over 90 minutes each. So, uh, obviously, they weren't that bad. And uh, obviously they've been let go now. So there you go. That's it. Derek McKenzie is it. Tony Dockett is with him. I wonder who's going to be. I wonder who's going to get the job. Like I mean, there's, there's managers out there. Um, let's see who who could potentially get. It. I mean, could we be looking at maybe Gordon Stratton? Could Gordon Stratton potentially get this job? Um, what about Craig Lafine? Could Craig Lafine be the guy? Could Craig Lafine be the man to get this job? I mean, who's out there? Neil Lennon. Could Neil Lennon get the job? Fucking Neil Lennon needs a job. Um, I mean, who's going to get it? Let us know, guys, down below. Let, let us know two things, actually, in the comments. Do you agree with this decision for Aberdeen? Do you think it now is the right time for him to go? Do you think Aberdeen are right in getting rid of McKins, or would you give him a bit longer? And also, who do you think will get the job, or who do you think should get the job? Let us know, guys, those two things down below. And that is it from Sun Scotland TV. Apologies. 
for not being able to talk right. But hey, it's it's better to try and make a video than not bother my ar my arse. So there you go. Can barely speak, but you know what? Try and make the best of a bad situation. Till next time, peace.